Hello and thanks for joining us during Electricity Safety Week for a special series where we talk about the importance of electricity and how to stay safe around it. If you see something dangerous, you should always tell an adult. Sometimes you'll need a licensed electrician to fix it, or you might even need to call triple zero if it's an emergency. Today, I want to tell you a few simple rules we can all remember to stay safe. The first one is water and electricity don't mix. Why? Well, water is an excellent conductor of electricity. Our bodies are made up mostly of water, so that makes us excellent conductors of electricity too. If you receive an electric shock, it can be very dangerous and make your heart beat in an irregular way, or you might even receive a burn. Here are some things to look out for. If your hands tingle when you put them in the sink, it may mean the water is conducting electricity and something is wrong. Let mum or dad know as they need to call a licensed electrician. Make sure electrical appliances are used away from the bath. There should be nothing electrical anywhere near you. If a household appliance like a hairdryer fell into the bath, whoever was in it would become a conductor of electricity and could receive a severe electric shock. Can you think of another dangerous situation that involves water and electricity? Spend a few minutes thinking about one example and what you would do to stay safe. Here are some that you may have thought about. Spilling a glass of water near the TV or computer. Leaving the window open and rain dripping onto a PowerPoint. Mopping the floor where electrical cables are present. Now here is our second rule. Never put an object into a toaster or PowerPoint. Metal is a conductor of electricity. We all come into contact with metal objects on a daily basis. Turning on a tap, playing with our computers and toys and even using the fridge. Because metal conducts electricity, you have to be very careful when you use metal items. Never put a metal object like a knife into a toaster. It's very dangerous. Never put anything into a PowerPoint that's not meant for it. Electricity will travel right up the metal object into your body. Your family should also be careful when climbing ladders at home. Power lines connected to your house are usually protected but they can be damaged by rubbing against a gutter or a tree or through exposure to elements like the sun, rain and wind. If someone is on a metal ladder and touches the exposed line, the electricity will travel through their body to the earth and give them a severe electric shock. There are also some important dangers we should look out for around the home. Overloaded power points. If you put too many adapters, it can overload the power point and start a fire. Frayed or damaged leads and plugs should be fixed or replaced by a licensed electrician. Digging in the backyard as electricity power poles and power lines can be above us and even underground. Before you or your family do any major digging in your yard, you should make sure there are no underground cables near your property. To do that, you can get mum or dad to ring dial before you dig on 1100. So now you know some very important safety rules and some dangerous electrical situations that you should look out for at home. 
Remember, if you see a dangerous situation, make sure you are safe. Turn off the PowerPoint if it's safe to do so. And always tell an adult and call triple zero if it's an emergency. Now, before we finish, we're going to ask you three questions. I'll give you a few minutes to write down your answers. Number one, what's the emergency phone number in Australia? Two, what should you do if you see a dangerous electrical situation? And three, where is a safe place to play outdoors? If you have time, it would be great if you could draw a poster with an electrical safety message and picture that you could share with your classmates. Here are a few examples that might inspire you. That brings us to the end of our final session. We thank you for joining us.